Another Ukrainian attack. Smoke is rising from a burning factory has engulfed half of the city in Nizhny Novgorod. A Ukrainian soldier at a position in Serebryansk forest in Luhansk region, with a German automatic rifle Heckler & Koch G36, the MG42 machine gun, also made in Germany, can be heard working in the background. an assault by Russian forces in Chasiv Yar. Several Ukrainian sources report that heavy battles are now ongoing, as Russian forces are trying to break through to the center of the city. An 18-year-old Russian man, born in 2006, is now probably the youngest Russian ever to have been sent into slaughter in Ukraine by Putin and company. Krasnodar, Russia. Locals came out today to protest against power cuts as multiple areas of the city have no power since yesterday due to issues with energy system caused by heat. Increased police presence is observed. Putin's Gestapo is arresting residents of Krasnodar who are protesting the rationing of electricity in the region. This summer electricity was initially cut off once a week, then three times a week, and now for 12 to 15 hours per day. Residents of Yeysk in Russia's Krasnodar region have complained to Putin about problems with electricity. And these complaints to Putin by brainwashed Russians are hilarious. As if he cares. The problem was created by his stupid invasion of Ukraine. Уважаемый Владимир Владимирович, мы, жители многоквартирных домов Карла Липнета 174 и Карла Липнета 174, дробь 1, города Ейск, Краснодарского края, обращаемся к вам, как гаранту наших конституционных прав на личную безопасность и достойную жизнь. Так, в наших многоквартирных домах и близлежащей территории полностью отсутствовало электрическое снабжение в период с 11.30 18 июля 2024 года до 0 часов 8 минут 19 июля 2024 года, то есть более 12 часов. В условиях установившейся чрезвычайной жаркой погоды такое долгое отсутствие электроэнергии в жилых помещениях приводит к ухудшению здоровья жителей наших домов, ухудшению санитарной обстановки, выражающейся в порче продуктов, в обесточенных холодильниках, а также отсутствие холодного водоснабжения по причине неработающих без электричества насосов подачи воды на этажи. В то же время многие развлекательные и второстепенные учреждения в нашем городе постоянно обеспечены электроэнергией. Мы понимаем сложную ситуацию с обеспечением нашего города электроэнергией, но просим вашей помощи в вопросе установления компаниями, снабжающими наши многоквартирные дома электроэнергией, справедливого графика подачи электроэнергии. In the Pokrovsk direction, the 47th Separate Mechanized Brigade successfully destroyed Russian equipment. Using coordinated efforts, reconnaissance pilots, the crew of a Paladin self-propelled artillery unit, and FPV drone operators identified and targeted two D-30 guns and a tractor.
protest outside the U.S. Embassy in Moscow, Russia. Notice how well organized it is. Russian flag on the building, large stage, well choreographed people holding flags. This is the Russian government that directly organized this show. They walk around their native village, gloomy, depressed and tired, looking for any food or whole things, together with stray dogs, and something similar to those dogs. They don't care about the power outage because it hasn't been there for a long time and it's not known if it will ever happen. They are worried about hunger, because there is no humanitarian aid. The entire vegetable garden has burned from the heat, and all the stocks have already been looted. They bury their relatives and friends just in their gardens. They decided to remain under Russian occupation. Apparently, everyone had their own reasons for this, and we do not condemn them in any way. But everyone should see and know what their life is like. What life is like in the Russian occupation. Hunger, shelling, looting, hopelessness, lack of any rights, all this brings with it the Russian occupation. Where the Russian boots stepped, there is death and hunger everywhere. Russian telegram channels report that a bridge has crashed on a federal A333 highway in Buryatia, leading to Mongolia. Putin prefers spending money on murders than improving the lives of his citizens. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.